Obviously, if he knows that I've got a mint girlfriend, which I have, he's done, been doing a bit of stalking, hasn't he? So he's like, what are you stalking me social media for? Go and train in the Jimmy Whopper. It's like, what are you doing? Uh, I have got a bird, and she, she is really good to me, and she's probably one of the best things I've got. And, but she's fearful. If you look at what's happened, he's not got a fearful girlfriend. So it's like, you just shot yourself in the foot, man. It doesn't matter where he trains, it doesn't matter what he does, it doesn't matter anything what he does. It's all about what I do. But yeah, uh, obviously he had his, uh, he got upset and he got disrespected at his gym. Had to leave for whatever reasons. I'm not going to say right now, but everybody knows. <laughs> uh, unfaithful misses. And then, uh, but yeah, he went to SBG for four weeks. I, I thought my, my record of SBG fighters, no disrespect to them because we're a great gym. I've not lost to an SBG fighter. So, and then obviously him, for him to go to Conor McGregor's gym, he was the champ in our weight division. It's a bit of a, a bit of brown nose in my eyes. I don't want, I don't want to go and train with Conor. One day I want what he's got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna graft until I get there. I'll graft every day until I get there, uh, whether he's still a champ then or not. I won't go and train with him. So it's like you're just trying to test your ability by going there and get yourself a little confidence. Uh, Training there for four weeks, he's not going to learn anything, he's not going to develop as a fighter, he'll learn a bit of Irish twang, that's about it. And Manchester seems to be quite a hub for sort of upcoming fighters at the moment, quite a few fighters in the spotlight. What is it about Manchester that, that sort of brings out the best in you guys? Uh, just where we're from, we just love to scrap, <laughs> but yeah, there's, uh, there's some good gyms in Manchester area, everybody's, because uh, I think because the UFC is getting bigger now and uh, everybody's getting tuned in, uh, everybody wants to do it. So the gyms, are, more gyms are opening, more people are getting into mixed martial arts and us manks were tough, we just love to scrap. And we've seen quite a few of the UK guys venture abroad to ATT, or the different gyms, TriStar, etc. Do you ever, have you ever thought about going overseas to train or do you find you get enough training in Manchester? Darren Morris, my coach, he's, he's world class. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't need to go anywhere. I think people, I think people go to other gyms because you don't have the confidence in the coach. I have 110 confidence in my coach, what he does to me and what he brings and how, and how much he's developed me as a fighter. Uh, he's, like, he's like a Rubik's Cube, but can't be, but can't be solved. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll never leave. And to the people who, who do go to America, that's their choice.